Hi, I'm CJ Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We appreciate you tuning in. So today we're going to show you a brand new living quarters that just showed up. It is a 2022 Cimarron North Star four horse living quarters with an outlaw conversion. Now I'm really excited to show you this trailer because right now by far this is my favorite layout that we're doing in these living quarters on these outlaw conversions. Uh, the reason why I like it so much is we have a good size living quarters, but we're not making it completely massive, making this a monster trailer by any means, but it's really well equipped. Uh, it's also a really good size. And again, it keeps our floor link down a little bit. So let's take a look at the drawing because I want to kind of show you what I'm talking about. So on the Cimarron side, this trailer is 34 foot on the floor. So not massive by any means. That's a good size trailer. Uh, it's 710 tall, it's eight foot wide, has a rear tack room on it, um, but we'll, we'll get into that full width rear tack here in a little bit and the length of the trailer. Uh, but when you look at the overall size of this trailer, again, it's not massive by any means. And then when we look at the living quarters itself, we're talking about a 14-3 short wall with a slide out. And when we get in here, I'll, I'll show you how this trailer lays out, but you get dual seating, dual sleeping areas uh, down below. And again, it gives you a really well-equipped and a really good size uh, layout that feels really open. But again, we're not, we're not massive by any means. You get in those 17, 18 foot short walls and all of a sudden, you know, your floor length is pushing that 37 to 40 range, depending on how many horses and what type of a tack setup you've got. Uh, but again, a really well-equipped trailer. Uh, I'm really excited to walk you through this. It's got a lot of stuff, so bear with us. We're going to show you a lot of options on this trailer. So one of the very first things, as we're looking underneath the gooseneck area here, you'll notice the dual electric over hydraulic jacks. And we do that on these slide out trailers or our bigger floor link trailers, just because it is big. Let's try to you know, stabilize it as best we can when it's unhooked. Uh, but anytime we're dealing with the slide out, we do the dual jacks on it. There's a manual override on this, so you can go ahead and in an emergency situation, get it on or off the truck. You'll notice to the right of the spare tire there, dual 30 pound LP bottles. We like upgrading to the 30s over 20s, just because we understand you're gonna be traveling a lot, you're gonna be on the road a lot. There's no reason to be continually changing out 20 pound bottles that give you a little bit more capacity. So we like upgrading to these. You've got your battery box located directly above that. You'll notice three batteries, two house batteries that are labeled, number one, number two. And then our battery over to the right is an air ride battery. This trailer is air ride equipped. We're gonna get into that a little bit more as well. But I want you to notice the detail, how well everything is, is labeled. Outlaw does a fantastic job of that. There's no guesswork here. We know where these, these you know, lines go to, what they affect. Uh, so if we run into issues, it's a little bit quicker to diagnose and figure out the problem and get things fixed and get you back on the road. To the right of the battery box is our air ride compressor. It's all self-contained, very simple to use. You put it on the on position, you roll it to the raised position, and you drive down the road. You do this anytime you're pulling this trailer, whether you're loaded with horses or not. Uh, it does have a rubber torsion axle with a, with a shock kit below it, so if something does happen to our compressor or an airbag, a line, you can still get down the road, you're not stuck. The old systems, you couldn't move those trailers. We'll talk a little bit more about air ride here in a little bit. Right up above here in the gooseneck, I want you to notice this is now standard on the 22 living quarters, the frameless windows. My opinion, it gives it a nice finished, clean look to it. They're incorporating that on all the 22 models now moving forward is the frameless. And we can go back to the old style if you like, um, but when we do an original quote, it's gonna have that setup. This living quarters door, I wanna point out something before we jump in here. This is an upgrade over the standard door. You'll notice that frameless window in it as well, but this is what we call a challenger door. This is a big, massive, heavy duty LQ door. I love the big latch on it. And then also what you get is 
besides that you get this heavy duty screen door so again if you're traveling with small children small dogs dogs in general you know this is a lot heavier duty with this bottom uh, you know kind of expanded metal down here so as they jump up they're not just tearing up the actual screen itself again you'll notice it has a lot of framework I mean this is this is all welded aluminum here so again we really like upgrading these type of trailers to the Challenger door uh, just for that reason we understand you're gonna be in and out of it a lot it's a nice trailer let's go ahead and upgrade to a nice door itself You've got your step going in here, so it's really easy jumping in and out of this trailer. And then as you get into this living quarters, again, 14-3 short wall with a slide. So as you can see, there is a ton of space in this living quarters. By having the slide out, it really opens up the floor area. But most importantly, it does what we wanted it to do. We wanted dual seating, dual sleeping areas down here in the living quarters area. So we have a dinette in the slide out with that sofa sleeper on the gooseneck drop wall. And the reason why we do this setup is because if we put the dinette over here, it's gonna have to be a narrower dinette. This is a full size dinette that we have in the slide. So we've uh, had some customers ask, hey, if I order a trailer, can I do dual uh, sofas? Um, absolutely, you can do that. If you wanted to do the sofa in the slide and then your dinette over here, that can be done as well. But you have to understand that then you're gonna be into more of a, just a two person dinette to where you know, four people can sit at this dinette and the slide out the way it is right now, uh, but you are gonna narrow it down. Now, if you wanted to expand the living quarters, add a little bit more floor length to the trailer, a little bit more in the living quarters, you can do that and then potentially have your dinette, a full dinette with a sofa over in the slide out. But so our, our whole concept of this is we wanted this, this setup. We wanted these dual seating sleeping areas and, and that's the reason why is because it has become so popular, but again, a 14.3 isn't that, you know, 17, 18 foot short walls uh, that are just big and massive. As you look up, we got a pony wall, just to give you a little privacy getting up into the gooseneck area. Uh, big flat screen TV up there. There's some additional storage up there in the nose itself. You got that nice outlaw flex, that memory foam mattress up there. You'll also notice the duct the ducting for our air conditioner. Uh, also, when we turn on the furnace and kick that fan on to circulate that warm air, you know, that duct works really important because now we can keep this cabin area, you know, a nice consistent temperature. Uh, if we wanted to force air one, one direction more than the other, we can do that. We can shut some vents down, force more up there or in the bathroom, you know, any of those type of scenarios there. The kitchen area. So again, we wanted, we wanted a good sized kitchen area. We didn't want to really skimp too much. We are dealing with a, with a 14.3. So again, we're not in that 17, 18 foot uh, short wall size. So what we did here was good size countertop. We did the recessed two burner cooktop. So again, when that's not in use, you've got the ability to fold that down and it's more counter space. One thing we've put a lot of emphasis on is sink size we did not we are not a big fan of little tiny sinks and and i know our customers aren't as well that's just general feedback so this is a massive and deep sink we really challenged outlaw said hey we want you guys to incorporate these bigger deeper sinks customers want it let's figure it out and make it happen and, and outlaw did it for us and then you've got the extension as well here so if you want to pop this guy up as you're prepping food or anything like that You've got the extension there, giving you a little bit more counter space as well. Some cabinetry above it, a microwave with a hood vent. Then you'll notice another flat screen TV there. And then your large, this is a 7.0 refrigerator and freezer. 7.0 uh, is kind of the direction everything's going um, from our old standard 6.0s. And then obviously you can get into the bigger ones as well, but you're gonna typically be in a larger living quarters itself when we get into that scenario. So, um, but again, really well equipped. You're dealing with outlaw conversion. So, you know, everything's hardwood cabinetry. I mean, this is a custom home. So 
you know, everything you grab and feel, cabinet doors, anything like that, you'll notice the weight of things in your hand. It's not like a piece of paper when you get into some of those, uh, I hate to say it, other, other brands, other uh, living quarter manufacturers. You've got the quality here. They do such a good job with their line, you know, with their insulation packages, whether it's the subfloor, the sidewalls, the, sea, the roof itself, they do a fantastic job of that. And then as we get into the bathroom, pocket door so we don't have to worry about a door swinging one way or the other but again this is a real good size bathroom you know with us dealing with the 14.3 we didn't lose all that space that was another thing we wanted to do we just didn't want to say like okay well let's let's get the living quarters a good flow a good size and who cares about the bathroom you know who cares if you have to stand over a hub, uh, toilet to get ready and brush your teeth in the morning nope this is a really good size so as you notice the bathroom vanity uh, these are things that we evolve with too at, at times on these trailers. Uh, you'll notice a lot of cabinetry, the adjustable shelves here in this closet behind that porcelain toilet. But again, I can stand here at the sink. I'm not having to hover over that. But again, as we evolve and build these trailers, our very first one we did was this whole medicine cabinet door was one big door. So you had to kind of duck out of the way. So we went in and made it dual doors, a lot easier. Uh, we're not having to get again duck out of the way so again we're always kind of tweaking these trying to get them just perfect for you the actual consumer and then as you get back in here you've got dual clothes rods there's your additional uh, uh, cushion for when you go ahead and break that dinette down into a second bed there's that cushion you know we just tossed it in there for now you could figure out a good place to store it and then your radius shower with the skylight. So you get that natural lighting, a little bit more headroom if you're taller. Uh, again, just getting as much lighting as we can in here. Um, but again, by having that radius shower, it gives you a little bit more room. You'll notice that it's off the off the floor a little bit. And that's, so we can run some, some ductwork for our furnace in there. But more importantly, with these trailers, these outlaw trailers being RVI certified, you get a true P-trap in there. Well, in order to do that, you've got to get that, uh, that shower up off the floor a little bit to have the adequate room that you need to to put that P-trap underneath there. So there's items like that that are in these trailers um, that, again, I mean, we always thought, you know, you put a Cimarron and an Outlaw together, we feel you've got the best living quarters trailer out there on the market. Uh, again, they're a custom home. I mean, there is, there is nothing cookie cutter. I mean, every one of these trailers is unique. They're a fingerprint. We try to put our flare on them. We try to uh, equip them best we can. Again, feedback from customers. Let's get those bigger sinks. Let's do those type of items in these trailers to make them function and work better. Uh, one thing I want to mention is this is an electric slide. That was another thing when we were doing this, this setup. When you're dealing with a hydraulic slide, you're dealing with more framework. Uh, they're a little bit bigger and bulkier. So we end up having to use more floor or a, a sidewall space when we're putting those hydraulic slides in. To where this is an electric, it's a lift go electric. We don't have to have as much. So we can kind of keep these LQs a little bit smaller uh, and, and still have the functionality of a slide. These electric slides have come a long way. They're really, good. They're really uh, heavily used in the motorhome industry, camper industry. They've really come a long way over the years. Uh, so we're really confident and they've been functioning really well for our customers. So again, extremely well set up living quarters. Again, I love this layout. Uh, it's really good to hear when customers step in this trailer and they go, oh wow, you know, I was thinking 14.3, I, I was thinking it was gonna feel really small, but that's not the case when you jump in this trailer. I mean, it really opens up and, and again, just flows extremely well. As we head out, you'll notice uh, two hat racks above the door. And then you've got some panels over here. So we've got our slide out control and then our electric awning. So again, with your awning, it's a push button. It's really easy to use. And then we've got our uh, on off switch gauge for our Onan 4000 gas generator on this trailer. So since it's a single air conditioner with a 30 amp package, that 4000 generator will operate and do everything you need to. You can take this out in the middle of nowhere and be able to function completely with that generator. A couple things too I want to point out. So this trailer, those TVs in there are smart TVs and we've equipped these with Wi-Fi capable. So 
We understand a lot of people are streaming on TVs nowadays. Uh, we're doing a lot of work on the road. So you can get a SIM card, you know, drop it in here. You can run your Wi-Fi. You can run those smart TVs. You can stream. Uh, also, if you get somewhere that has Wi-Fi, it almost works as a booster in the trailer itself. Uh, so that's a cool feature. We've been doing a lot of, on a lot of these trailers. We're not doing as much satellite uh, because we're going to guess wrong. You know, dish, direct, you're going to have the other one. We can always add those on after the fact. But again, a lot of people are going the streaming route. So that's why we went this direction. Also, I want you to notice, I talked about it briefly, that RVIA certification. So outlaw conversions is the last standing uh, out there in the living quarters industry right now conversion company that is being RVI certified. So why that is important is because now we can take this trailer to any national park, uh, any public, private campgrounds. We meet all requirements that, that they require as far as electrical, uh, propane, heating itself, water systems, everything. And, and they've got that. It costs a little bit of money per trailer, but it's extremely well worth it for you to be able to go and do whatever you want uh, you know, anywhere in this country with this trailer. So there's that awning we were talking about. Electric awning, there's a light strip underneath there as well. I love the protective cover on that. Uh, again, usually on awnings, what we see is over time is, is the awning itself is in great shape 90% of the time. The only 10% is that first about 12 to 18 inches where it actually rolls up. If it doesn't have that protective cover on it, UV rays just eat it up. You can literally stand at them right against the trailer and look up and see the spots of daylight where that protective cover is going to protect it from the elements, you know, protect it from those UV rays. It's going to get, give it a, long, a lot of longevity uh, to that itself. That is an 18-foot awning because we have a 14-3 uh, short wall with a 4-foot offset. So a good, massive awning to it. You've got your exterior speakers. So you've got the capability to just sit out here, entertain. We've got an outside plug. Uh, you've got light work, you know, whether it's a load light there, Kind of right by the door, you've got that strip awning light underneath there, the awning itself, and then there's additional load lights on the trailer that you can operate as well. I want to shut this door. We'll kind of just step back and look at this because I want you to notice, again, it's a white sheeted trailer, that's standard, but we upgraded to the polished sheeting. So, man, it really makes this trailer kind of pop, gives it a little bit, you know, extra than just the mill finish. It's really, really a sharp looking trailer when we have it all buttoned up uh, and you take a step back. We'll get it uh, pictured later today, so we'll have pictures up of that. Also, I will get it weighed. Uh, we're estimating, we had a very similar trailer to it here recently that sold right away. It came in about 15 and a half empty. This trailer will probably be right there, but we'll get that put up on the uh, website as well. Here's another upgrade. It's kind of a small upgrade, but we really like doing it on living quarters, bigger trailers, anything eight foot wide. And that's this amber turn signal. It seems kind of like a funny little option. Some people kind of go, eh, okay. But it does serve some purpose. So right now we've got all the marker lights on there and you can see it's lit up. So it works as an extra marker light for you. Again, these are bigger, longer, wider trailers. We understand we've got marker lights around the wheel well, but it does work as a extra indicator light for you. Now, when the marker lights are on, it stays lit up. When you turn your blinker on, it will actually flash. And then when you hit your brakes, it'll flash as well. So we really like it. These are bigger, longer trailers. People really don't, again, pay attention too much to us when we're trying to get over. Uh, having this in the middle of the trailer helps. You know, maybe that car is right there at, that, at the back edge of this trailer and you turn your blinker on. Well, they're a little too far forward to see that but hey, we got it right there. They're, they understand, hey, I'm trying to get over. So again, we're doing that on a lot of trailers. Again, all living quarters, all these bigger trailers, wider. Uh, we like going in and putting that option in there. The other cool thing is this is an integrated pod. So again, it gives a nice sleek finished look to it. Again, with that polish, it dresses it up. Um, I don't know, they, they, they look really cool. They really do. So we have our hay pod up there for storage. I'll show you how we get up there and our generator box located behind it. We'll talk on that as we get to the back of the trailer. You'll notice your drop windows. So we did drop windows on the tail side. 
at one, two, three, and four. There is a drop window in that in this rear load door as well. I've got it shut right now just because I've got the door open, but we can create a lot of airflow through this trailer itself. Um, you know, whether you're down south or you know, even as we get into these hot summer months up here in the north, you know, it's nice to have a lot of airflow keeping your horses comfortable. So we talked about air ride a little bit. Let's get back to that. Two 9,000 pound Dexter Airflex axles. These air ride axles, you know, just talk to people. Get their feedback on it. Older systems, yes, there were some issues, but we have we feel like we've really kind of fixed those type of issues. Again, I talked about it briefly. If something happens to the air system, we set down on rubber torsion axles and we can go. Get to where you need to go, and then get it addressed and fixed. Uh, but basically, again, turn it on and go. We're putting very expensive horses on this trailer. A lot of time, a lot of money, a lot invested in them. So let's give them every opportunity we can to ride on, on a little bit better uh, scenarios. Roads are rough. If we're going to compete, we want them to compete at the highest level. A lot of customers, trainers, uh, will say that they can cut a day off of their trip going out somewhere because the horses don't need the recovery time as much. Um, a lot of people pull air rides. Again, talk to them. I think one of the most common things you'll hear is, is most people will say, I'll never own another one without it. I mean, it is a substantially better ride for the horses. Behind the axles, uh, Dexter did some testing. It took away 52% of the road shock behind the axles. Behind the axles is the worst part of a ride on a trailer. Uh, it's like riding at the back of a school bus. You hit those bumps and railroad crossings. It was fun as a kid because it shoots you up. But we got our horses in here. So again, with, with these type of loads, you know, a lot of times they're on axles, behind axles. So let's help them out and try to alleviate some of that as best we can. There's also electric over hydraulic disc brakes. So this trailer's got a lot more stopping power. They're a lot more responsive when you're dealing with the electric over hydraulic. Uh, so that's definitely an upgrade on this trailer. Um, then as we get back here, again, this is kind of one of the more popular things we've seen over the years is our rear side loads, PC loads, cowboy loads. A lot of people have different terms for them, but you get your ramp over your, your es escape door. Um, and there's some things we've done to this that I'll show you here. This very first stall, we've made 48 inches wide. We put a little bit more length and size to this back stall. And there's a reason for that. We understand that we're having to get these horses to load and unload right here. Well, when you're dealing with nine and 10,000 pound axles, you're gonna have bigger, deeper wheel wells into the stall area. And then we're dealing with the divider. So making this corner, as you can see, might get a little tight. But if you go in and we upgrade this on these trailers, we do this breakover divider at the last stall. Now look at that. It completely opened it up. Think about this. Loading is probably not as big of a deal. The horse is going to naturally make his turn. But as they're backing out, you can kind of get them backed out and then be able to get their front feet turned you know, get their shoulder turned this way to where they're gonna come off this trailer a little bit straighter, have a little bit more room here. So we've gone in, we've added a little bit of length to this back stall, and then do the breakover divider on these as well. These are padded dividers. Airflow and head drill as well. So again, I'll put a lot of emphasis on airflow, keeping animals nice and comfortable with our drop windows airflow dividers, big drop windows on the head side, and then an insulated roof. Now because this is an integrated pod, uh, on most Cimarron's when you step in the stall area, you can actually see the inside of that insulated roof. But this is paneled because we're having to deal with that integrated uh, pod up, up on top as well. But you still have the insulated roof on these Cimarron's, so you're still getting that. Uh, so we can create a lot of, again, a nice, more comfortable uh, uh, stall temperature in here. The insulated roof versus aluminum roofs, it's about a 20% temperature difference. And we've done some testing here where we've had a Cimarron all sealed up with a temperature gauge in here on a 95 degree day here on this asphalt. And then an air, uh, aluminum roof trailer, same thing. And it runs substantially hotter. It really does. So that insulated roof makes a big difference as well. One thing I also want you to notice is 
on this type of a load when you're dealing with rubber mats it is not pulling it's not fun pulling mats period but it's not fun pulling them out the side of that trailer so we've gone in and we've done worm flooring to this so we've upgraded to worm flooring for you so that permanent unpenetrable rubber matting it's got a lot of grip to it again that is definitely an upgrade and again nobody likes pulling mats out but uh, we've gone that way with these loads just for that reason itself you know kick mats paddle latches that are flush to the wall so nothing protruding out everything horse safety you know just trying to keep them good and safe a lot of emphasis there Cimarron does a really good job there four LED lights so we got a lot of light coverage in here as well and then you've got your stud divider at one so again if you got somebody you want to put up there keep them separated or if you want to use that for some additional storage we see that a lot a lot of customers will say hey yeah, occasionally I'll take four head, but maybe I'll take two to three sometimes. And that's a good place for, for some extra storage. But as you notice, these have got big springs on the bottom of these dividers. So we're not holding these. They're not, you know, snap back by any means. These dividers themselves, those big springs want to naturally pull it towards the driver's side of the trailer. So it's a little easier when you're loading, loading and unloading horses. We're not having to hold a divider. Um, again, it pulls it over here. We're actually on a slant tip towards uh, passenger side, but they hold themselves over. And then when you go to shut these, again, safety. Nice heavy duty UHMW paddle latch. They close really easy. They open really easy. So again, we're not having to hold something in place and get it dropped. But that UHMW plastic, it's important because now we don't have metal to metal contact. It's not rattling, creating a lot of noise, anything like that. So again, just a really cool, uh, really well designed and set up with some extras here in this stall area. When you're loading and unloading, uh, one thing that's also important is, is when we're dealing with an air ride trailer, I recommend that you're actually loading the animals themselves or in other scenarios where you're loading a lot of tack or equipment, anything like that, to actually lower the trailer. And the reason why is because when we hit it to lower, it'll actually drop two and a half inches so now the trailer will be two and a half inches closer to the ground well now our ramp angle isn't as steep so loading and unloading just dump it and then right before you pull out the driveway or hit the road you know you just roll it to the raised position compressor kicks on picks that box up so that's another thing just to keep in mind when you're operating the air ride system itself and then as we get to the back here, again, we talked a little bit about just the size of the trailer, and I think this is where it really comes into play. Everybody wants a lot of tack. We wanna have a lot of tack space to haul everything we want to. We don't wanna to try to cram everything in, try to come up with creative places. Hey, I gotta move this out of the way now as soon as I get there type of a scenario. So this is that pull with rear tack. So on this trailer, if you would have put a full mid tack on it, we would have been probably about 37 feet on the floor. And the reason why is because we've actually have two feet at the back here. So we've added two foot floor length to the overall size of the trailer. For in a mid tack, you need five foot. So we kind of trade that two foot for that five. So it gives us three. But again, it just made the trailer bigger. But here at the back, we have a nice, well-equipped, good sized tack room without making this trailer monstrous by any means. So. On this one here, we did a single door. There's a couple different versions we do. We can do a single door, we can do a double door. This one's equipped with the single door, swing out saddle rack. These pads are adjustable, so I can slide these up and down if I'd like to. But now I don't have to crawl into this tack area itself. And then I can swing it in out of the way. Your door is all carpeted. So we have our four tier blanket pole rack, brush tray on the door. Uh, we really like to incorporate a lot of carpet on these so you know no tack nothing's rubbing on anything itself you got your step this is a big wide door so I can have our saddles our saddle rack swung in here I can still step in here over to this side there's a lot of floor space here for you so whether it's throwing some totes you know throwing some extra stuff in here you can do that um, up ahead here this is our our fuel cell for that onboard generator so again, kind of tucks up out of the way, and then you'll notice a shelf that goes across for some additional storage here. There is an LED light in here. It's actually a 16 inch awning light that you'll see on the side of the trailer itself. 
It's that same concept, it shoots down and out, so you get a lot of light coverage in this rear tack room itself. And then like I talked about, carpet throughout, so we've carpeted the entire thing, get you two rows of bridle hooks in here so you can you know, carry a lot of items there. And one thing that we've done is we've actually gone in behind this saddle rack. There's a half moon 48 gallon uh, water tank back there. So it's gravity feed, but now you can carry water, fill up buckets right back here. You know, whether you get to an event and you're parked clear out in the back and no, you know, there's no hydrant anywhere close, you've got that capability. If you've got a picky horse, you can take some water for them. Uh, it's just real handy to have that back here. And then I've got the ladder out right now. So this is an easy angle ladder that Cimarron uses. It's a lot easier getting up and down this trailer instead of it being a bolt on and going straight up the side. Uh, again, a lot easier going up and down from that standpoint. And then as you look up top there, you'll notice that we did kind of a, a gate, a safety gate up there. It does swing out of the way, um, but when you get up there, it's just a little, instead of having that kind of big opening area there, we put that gate across. Again, just kind of keeping everything nice and safe. There's a nice big platform up there. You can see that generator, that pod. You can get to everything up there. We've got our load lights up on the, on the side post there, so they point down. You can adjust those as well. One of the other things that we've gone in and upgraded to on these bigger trailers, and again, we're putting more emphasis on this, is backup lights. Well, think about this. That truck is a long ways away from where you're backing up to. I mean, granted, you do have your marker lights, you know, brake lights that you can do that light up red, but boy, it's sure nice to put that truck in reverse and have it lit up back here. Uh, also, people can pay attention to you when it's in reverse, but again, more importantly, we're, we understand you're gonna get home or get somewhere where it's dark late at night. Uh, again, a small upgrade, but we really feel it's got a lot of value to it and a lot of value for the customer when we put that, that option on there. And when you go to put this ladder away, you just slide it up find your spot and push it down into those sockets so it stays secure in the trailer itself. We've got our light switches back here, load lights on each side, rear, stall area, everything's right there itself. And then here is our fuel fill. So for that gas generator, you can fill it up right there. We, I showed you where the location was of that fuel cell in that rear tack room itself. There's a good look at those big, massive drop windows that I was talking about in the stall area. <clears throat> so you have your jail bars, they can fold down as well. If you want screens, we can order those in for you as well to cover those. Um, but these are just so big and so massive. Again, creating a lot of airflow in there. It's really important. But man, there's a nice solid seal when we go ahead and shut these. Cimarron does a great job of incorporating, you know, a big, thick weather stripping. So we're not having you know, moisture get back in the trailer itself, uh, but more importantly, a good solid seal to the trailer and shut to it. One thing that they've done is over the, the last year is they've actually gone in and you notice at the top of those, each window, there's a drip rail. And that's not just a piece of aluminum that they welded onto the frame of that window itself, is that's actually an extrusion that they're having made specifically for our windows and above doors itself. Uh, so we can keep that moisture from getting in the top side of those. You know, it was pretty chilly here in Colorado this morning and we're gonna be below freezing later this week. So when you get that moisture and it gets in there, that potential uh, could, you know, to where it's real hard to open that. We don't wanna rip up those weather seals. Let's get that moisture away from it. And then you've got manger storage as well. So you have three bays here with three doors, so real easy to access. There's LED lights in there as well. They're located right in here. These you have to manually switch, manually switch on the light itself. So what you have to do is you kind of have to pay attention if you're loading buckets or items like that. Maybe they get bumped, so that's why always using your battery disconnect when you're not using the trailer is really important so we don't have a random light wearing uh, the batteries down themselves. The other thing too is on those, we've upgraded to those Alcoa rims and those are Continental 18 ply tires. So these are big, massive uh, tires, good looking wheels underneath it. You know, you've got the proper running gear underneath this trailer when we have those 9K axles, electric over hydraulic disc brakes, 
18 ply continentals, Alcoa wheels, and air ride. I mean, that is a perfect scenario right there to go down the road on this size of a trailer and this well equipped of a trailer. You've got your escape door at number one. So again, if, if you're using that for some additional storage or using it as a mudroom, hopping in and out is really handy. We put that step on there for that reason, uh, just so it is a little easier transition getting in and out of the trailer itself. And then also you have this drop window in this as well. Uh, some manufacturers will just do a bus window on here. I mean, this is a nice trailer. Why, you know, we want it to function and have everything you know, we want it to do, uh, and you know, Cimarron does a really good job and Outlaw too of not skimping anywhere and skipping any steps. Here's a good look at the slide out. Actually, you know, it expanded out. There's again a frameless window, big window on that. The side windows along the the, the slide itself, those are the older style, so those aren't frameless. Uh, but those again are just on the the caps there on the ends of that actual slide itself and then you've got your you know awning cover that comes out over it as well and it has that protective uh, cover on it just like that big awning I showed you on the other side of this trailer uh, same thing on that one let's protect that awning itself <clears throat> so again this trailer's got a lot of extras a lot of options we put a lot of cool stuff on here we think you'll really be happy with this trailer the very last thing I want to touch on is warranty and one of the main reasons why um, you know, we really like, again, combining a Cimarron with an Outlaw conversion is, is this is the only trailer on the market that you can sit there and say, from front to back, including living quarters, this thing is completely covered for three years. So you have an eight year structure warranty from Cimarron with a three year hardware warranty, and then Outlaw has a three year warranty as well. So if that microwave, if that refrigerator, anything like that has a one year manufacturer warranty, if Outlaw puts it on there, you're covered for three years. So think about that. Again, covered completely for three years on this trailer. So they really stand behind the product itself. So let me give you the stock number on this one for reference. We have other versions of this on order. A lot of them are selling pretty quick. So it's going to take a little while to get something in, but we can definitely do that. It is a 2022 Cimarron North Star Four Horse Living Quarters. Stock number is 5N. 210-586. Again, this one's available today. I wouldn't expect it to stick around long. Uh, we can build you one. We've got other versions, three horse, four horse, different tack setups uh, on order. We're gonna do a five horse in it. Uh, but again, we were really, really thrilled with how this trailer turned out. Again, a 14-3 short wall with an outlaw air ride. I mean, it's decked out. I don't think we missed much on the trailer itself. So give us a call. Anybody on the sales team can help you out. Our number is 303-684-3400. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good day.